All right, guys, this is David Plans here with Elite Performance Industries here for another breakdown at Lanier National Speedway. We are in the Legends Car Division. We're going to show you guys just how to get around here at light speed. Um, hopefully you guys can subscribe to the bottom here and give us a little like if you like this video and also check out our setups at Elite Performance Industries. That is what we're on today. We sell this setup on our website, so make sure you check that at ElitePerformanceIndustries.com. Now, uh, let's get right to this video here. We're going to show you a quick little qualifying lap and just how to get it done and set on the pole in a top split race. Here we go. We're going to come right off of pit road. I'm going to run this whole lap right off the bat so you can see it without talking, and then I'll break it down. Alright, so that's our qualifying lap. Pretty fast, sat on the top split race tonight, and we went on to win the race with our main race setup. But we're going to break it down nice and neat for you. So, right when we come off a of pit road here, we're going to get right after it. Get through the gears as fast as you can. There is no blend line here down on the bottom left. So, this is only at Lanier and a few select tracks. They haven't added a blend line. I find it kind of crazy here of all tracks not to have a blend line considering how close we run to the pit road wall. But anyway, that's besides the point. We're going to get right after it here. It's your option to stay down here and try to push the right front and get that heat in it. But you want to try to kind of scrub and push the car. You don't ever want to step the rear out on coming to your qualifying lap because that can really loosen the car up um, headed into the lap for what our setups do. So. Uh, anyway, we're going to go ahead and haul tail out of pit road, head straight to the wall here. We're going to try to ride as close as we can. Get right to it. Here, you can feather the throttle if you do not want to upset the tires coming to the line. Because first thing you're going to do is drive into turn one, and the rear end's going to come out, and you're going to spin out. So make sure you can see. I kind of work it a couple times there, but I try to get it to the throttle as quick as I can get my momentum you can see right here we are letting off at the yellow sign so that's on our qualifying lap keep this in mind with the way we approach the qualifying lap is going to be different in the race by just a little bit and I'll show you that in just a moment right away you can see I'm already on a break before the gas pedals all the way off the floor I mean I let right out of the gas but you know already on a break pretty quick but very very small more of a trail break get down to the yellow line right here you can see we're not even at apex yet and we're already full throttle something i can show you here hopefully i can get to something nice show you about where we are on the racetrack not really any good angles here but there's one you can see we're getting on a throttle before that NASCAR sign, and if something a little bit better for you, this red barrel down at the bottom. Anyway, back to the cockpit view. Just some marks there for you. Run all the way through the corner here. Yellow sign, 20% brake. Get on it at the barrel as hard as you can, right up to the wall. I'm gonna get close to the wall as you can. Other things you can look at here for your trajectory and the turn are these lines and about what line you should be turning in at. You're trying to make a big circle here. Um, yeah, obviously we're circle track racing, but you're pretty much never out of the wheel. Very similar to Langley, another place that I love. So we're gonna drive into three and four. You're gonna see right here, we're gonna let off. I don't even know my marks. I gotta look back at it, but I go by feel. But what's good is you guys who might be struggling here, can see the mark and know, okay, don't drive past that. That's too far. If I'm going that far, I'm gonna plow the nose or I'm gonna lose the rear end. But you can kind of see here to the right, just before I get to this red sign, not sure what it says, you're gonna let off. So right when that gets to the A post, let off. Again, let the car roll, just barely trail brake. Get down to the bottom here on this lap. I just barely touched my left front here um, on that line. Actually, maybe a little more than I realized. So, see here, 
just about how much you want to touch that line. Any further, the rear end is going to step out big time on you. Back at it. And see how early we are on the gas here. Again, for qualifying laps, so we're really laying it down. I'm already feeding it throttle before center. Happens real quick. And you can see, again, that red barrel, when it goes out of sight, if you're not almost full throttle by the time that goes out of sight, and definitely by pit exit, you know, of course, depends on your field of view here, too. But um, in general, that's, that's a good mark. You're getting on the throttle before apex on qualifying laps here. Because... By the time the car will grip up, it'll start turning and we'll haul butt down a straightaway and there's your lap. But anyway, we're gonna go back to a race lap where we had a nice like 15 lap run somewhere in there. But I'm gonna show you one more time, Q lap. Off of the yellow sign, trail break. On the gas at the red barrel before apex, up down high on the straightaway. Just barely touch that yellow line. Hard back to the throttle. All right, let's go back here. Find our Q lap. Or sorry, our uh, fast race lap right here. Just a lap before that. All right. So, just kind of show you how we're coming to it already. I actually feel like I drive in deeper on my race lap because now the car set is starting to feel really good. Give you a full green lap. This is my best race lap at lap 12. Keep an eye on the throttle and brake inputs right here, right to the left of my head. Got a little bit loose there, so probably could have seen, actually that was not my best lap, it was a lap before that. You saw how I got a little bit loose. We'll go back here. Still, that was a great lap that I had there. Barely off of my best lap. This was my absolute best lap right here. Boom. That was my fast lap. So again, we'll do a breakdown here. So come off turn four, come down the front straight, and we are going to let off. We're actually going deeper than we do in qualifying. And the reason I think that is I'm able to use a little more brake once the race setup comes in. So we're letting off actually about a car length past that yellow sign. So when you see the yellow sign, you should probably be getting out of it um, in your right side view there, right when it gets to the A, po or a post on the right side. Again, just nice, smooth trail break. The car is going to rotate really hard here in the center. And that's soon, I mean, Lanier so big. Soon as this car rotates, you need to be back to the throttle and adjusting your wheel back straight, catching it. Like you're kind of grabbing the gas, putting the wheel back straight so you don't shock the rear tires. You're going to see what I do with the wheel here. Let's just barely go back to the right soon as I get to the gas. Feels like more when you're when you're driving. Down the back right here. See these red signs to the right. Going past that. Let's see. Again, same as our Q lap. Back stretch is a little bit more consistent because we didn't have that big long run through three and four letting off right at that red sign when it gets to my a post right in that area come down here you can see the car in three and four when you're crossing this white line the car sets you can actually see a change attitude right here watch the ride height when it does that the car is starting to turn and you're already ready to start feeding throttle back into the car about a half a second later once the car is pretty much set into the ground. So anyway, guys, that was two big time breakdowns for you there. How to get around Lang or uh, sorry, Lanier Speedway, Hall and Tail. This setup's available again at ElitePerformanceIndustries.com. Make sure you follow our Facebook page, Instagram, everything. We're always giving shout outs to customers and 
our builders and everybody you get to know them we also have a discord which is great because you can throw in there once you buy a setup hey guys I'm a little bit tight a little bit loose here and we can help you through that because everybody drives different so we're willing to help you out that's all of our setups anywhere from the a class where we got guys in the coke series all the way down to us in the legend series we're willing to help you in any facet even on the dirt so check it out make sure you su subscribe to my youtube channel we also have an elite performance industries youtube channel make sure you subscribe to get to that and again this was david plans with your breakdown thank you guys